Hi, welcome to episode 8 of this app development tutorial. In this episode, we're just going to open YouTube videos. Originally, I was going to show you how to open a YouTube player within the app and import the YouTube player library, but I realized it's unnecessarily complicated. You have to get an API key, you have to sign up on Google, and it's basically the same exact thing as opening the YouTube video in the browser. So we're just going to do it that way. Also, when you open the YouTube video in the browser, you can also like and comment on the video and do all that stuff that you can't within the app. So it's actually very simple to open up a YouTube video. If you remember correctly, in our detail activity, Here we already have the comments for launch activity for the first YouTube video and the second YouTube video. So let's just write in, it's only two lines of code. So this is just creating the browser intent, and then we'll start the activity. And it's that simple. Then clicking the here, click here to watch YouTube video will take you to the browser and let you watch the YouTube video. Let's copy and paste this over and just do YouTube too. So because this was a very short episode, what we're also going to do is do some basic setup for the next episode, which will be um, saving all the movie data inside of a database so that it can be accessed even when the user doesn't have access to the internet. Favorited movies, all the information about favorited movies can still be accessed. So we're just gonna we're just gonna use something called you know how we use Picasso to uh, load the images into the image view. We're gonna use another. We're gonna use something called OKHttp, OK just so that Picasso can cache those images in the disk, so that when the phone is in offline mode. Those images can still be accessed from the cache. And it's also very simple. We'll go to our build.gradle. compile this and then we're going to create a new class this is just called global So whatever happens in this class, global, will be uh, application-wide. 
whatever rules we set in this class will be applied throughout the entire application. Because what we're going to do in the manifest is make our application name dot global. So now this is what will be called when the application starts. Well, not this specifically. On create will be called. So we're just overriding on create for when the application is started. And just a few lines of code will set up sync OK HTTP with Picasso so that Picasso will save all the movie images in a disk cache so that even when the phone is offline, these images can be accessed from the cache. This is all automatic. All we have to do is put in a couple lines of code. Picasso will automatically load from the cache if it can't load from an online source. Alright, so there we have it. In the next episode, we're going to store all this movie information. Let's look here. We have our YouTube links, our overview, our poster path, our title, and all of this information we're going to store in a database within the app so that it can be accessed. So thanks for watching. I know this was a short video. If you liked it, be sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you soon.